Welcome to City Skylines and the city of Redmond. And in the last part, the focus was very much on up here on this forestry area. And just after I finished the previous video, this area upgraded. It's now at level three timber area. And what I've done is I've put in a sawmill and a pellet plant. So we're now producing both plain timber and paper here which will eventually we will probably be exporting out to one of the more advanced manufacturing industries. I'm certainly not going to build it here. And we've got a little bit of work to do here. So let me just do this. I'll put this in. Uh, you can come in there and we'll just crack a little bit of residential in here like that a little bit of commercial here you can see we are slowly approaching 100,000 now I don't want to connect to that road so we're going to come up like that and we're just going to pop there like that I think we can put a bit more now one thing I do want to get in here is a tiny amount of farming I just want to check Did I zone this over This is Cherry District, uh, which is different. Okay, I thought I'd fix that. Industries. No, it's only what I'm on about. Wrong one. Getting a bit confused here, guys. And what I want to do is set that to farming. And. What I want to do is have a little bit of farming zoned in here. Not that much because I think I've got a bit of a an empty gap there. And I've got a little bit of a gap here I can put in. Actually it's not farming, is it? It's forestry. What am I about? Change. Uh, That's meant to be forestry. And what I want to do is this is just more to do with the aesthetics of the game. It's just to put a little bit in here. And the other thing I also want to do is it's going to look a little bit out of place, but I'm going to get a little bit more industry there. Just going to let the game speed up and run. And You are annoying me, game. It's because I'm trying to rush. So I'm just going to. I don't want heavy industry in here. In fact, I probably don't need this here. And trim that back a little bit. I don't want a lot of forestry in here. I just want to put a couple of in there so it matches in there. The other thing I've also done is I put a couple of power plants out here because the power is getting a bit low. And I thought if I give the self-contained power capability here, I get a thunderstorm, life would be a little bit easier. So we got that there. So we probably got a bridge through here. So I probably don't need these anymore. That can come out. Overall, things are looking pretty good here. This system is flowing. And I suppose what I need to do now is move on to what I want to do in this part, which is I want to get the farming community up and running here. The question is, I don't really want to connect a road through here or a road through there. So what we're going to probably have to do is come down off of these hills. And the f and what I'm thinking is if I, if I just uh, paint industry area. What I'm thinking is have the farming area here. Right across this wide area here. And then the farming town more in this direction because the productive area is the yellow stuff but you can have farming buildings out here and what i'm thinking is a railway station out of here so yeah i'm just going to pause because we have to break the highway so if, we... if i also remember correctly we've got there's some ore there as well oh great Okay, let's, let's move this. Let's 
see if we can fit this highway junction in. And I think we can get away with it. So if I put that there, I'm just gonna. Put, I think we can get it with straight away with straight. So I just hook this through like that. And just when I'm, that gets the game up and running. And right. I'm going to have to put in a little bit of road infrastructure here. Hmm. Maybe we want the we're going to put a roundabout in about here in a bit close we can go 180 i don't think we need a full 200 so i'm just going to put the 180 in there um, that up like that And then what we can do is bring go a little bit freestyle. Actually, I think what we'll do is we'll come off here first. And let you run up to there like that. And then we can follow this road in about there. I think that will work. These junctions are a little bit closer to together than I'd like. I think I can live with it. What we can do now is just put this area in here straight and put a, you up that way you up that way you up that way like that so what we have in this segment is the farm with me yep i think that will work oh yeah so you Okay, we've got an academic year. My university at the moment's a bit stuck. I'm I'm not in a rush to get it up to the next level because one of part of my plans is to build a, a proper university town. Oops, I'm just going to hook that up. Switch you around that way. Get you. That's one two. That's three. Okay, we'll just come up like that. You can come in like that. Like that. And of course, what we will have is the other part of the the residential part of the town can come out this way, like this. That's the wrong way round. I think in that. So we need to put that, that, and that can go that way. And then what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade this like that into no site. Take out this here like that. Oops. A little bit of enthu too enthusiastic with my deleting. Of course, that means I now can have a problem. Oh no, I, won't. I should be okay. Because I've taken that out, so. That gives me the hook rope now. And we'll probably have the. We could probably get some residential here, some commercial, commercial on this side, with the, the train station probably up about here somewhere. So let's just get the farming in. Next, let's see. Um, it's a farming community, so uh, I want this road to be straight. We may get a bit more creative 
later on, but... Be very careful here. So that it doesn't get too messy. Don't want anything on there, so... You're going to come up three. And this needs to out a little bit more. Like that. You hook there and through there. Whoa, that's terrible. It's going to have you down like that. Probably that is probably the furthest I'm going to go out of this road, so let's just take those off for the moment. Of course, we're going to put in a wow, right on the edge. Got you on that edge. And that now gives us the screen solo small pastures. And that's basically all we're going to get for this. Now, if the pastures are going to be up here, I don't know how far out we can get with the this here. Get 1,200 units there, 900. I think we could probably work with putting a few in here like that. And we need some storage. And I think to start with, we're going to put one of these here, one of these here. Now, a quick tip, guys, when you're laying in these grain silos, now, a quick tip, guys, when you're putting in these grain silos, it's very tempting to put two or three side by side but remember these have a one square front and each one of these will will encourage a truck to turn up and deliver to it so if you put three side by side eventually you're going to end up with a lot of trucks all trying to get into the same area and it's not good news guys i'll be completely honest with you i we're going to have to put in here we can just hook in through there like that. Yeah, I'm just going to keep 40. And you can just go through there. And a little bit like that. Actually, I just had a sudden thought. Let me just get this line in. It'll take me in the right direction anyway. What I could probably do is put some more commercial here. Just extend this out a bit. That. And maybe you can just bridge. Whoops. Actually, I want this to come out too far. So you can come out just like that. Um, we'll put a bit more. Commercial out here, just make sure the zoning is over because I want this still to remain tourist. So I'll fill that in. Actually, um, we've got a community going now. Maybe our. No, I think we're just going to leave it tourist. And maybe we'll just put a little bit more here. And maybe if the funsies of it were. I put in like a band of offices all the way down here because it's three they shouldn't go too high and as last words and um, I can do is we put some offices here like that that's just to suck up that extra cure problem over here so we've now got this area here we've got power a power issue mm -hmm. Maybe I should just run the train station out this way. I think from a, for the moment we've just got a power line. What's there just to get that up and running?
Mm. Now the problem is if I build a station, that will. If I mind you, if I put the industry here, we could probably get away with. Uh, I think actually if I do this go out like that and come around like that for the moment we could put a train station here and then we'll get the trucks coming out here and if we need extra capacity this starts to clog up we can go there because I'm not going to bring the yeah I think that will work what we got here multi-platform end station never really put one of these out you never know, maybe one day. Okay, let's just put this about. Ah, that's not lined up properly. I think we can. Now, let's just go right out on the edge here. Like that. And then. What I'm thinking is we can curve the rail line round. Right, you can up like that actually what we could do is put out the recycling and other essential services out here as well can't we so if I bring that out like that I actually don't want that yeah, let's just now the helicopters buzzing overhead are coming from over here just here because I suddenly realized with all these trees here there's a risk that if we have a lightning storm there's a potential for a forest fire so I've put a helicopter pad out here to fight any potential forest fires which can be a fun event yeah I think that will work and then what we can do is just come here and we'll just put I mean, this is going to be a noisy part of town anyway, so. And that should, yeah, that will bridge the power over there. And eventually I could bring things down here. So we can take that off for the moment because I don't know where it's going to go. And now we need to get a bit creative. What I'm thinking is off of here. Maybe if we start here and go the other way. Let me just go down. And the train stations there. Oops. Go down. Ah, that's. Ah. That's the train station. That's the train station. That's nowhere near. Okay. That's yeah, my fault there, guys. If we look up there, we need to get under the. That comes there, so we got a nice tunnel under there. If we look up like that, that will now give us the ability to flow into here like that. And I think what we're going to do now is uh, this is going to be a little bit risky. Actually, no. What I'm going to do is come out here. You build just like that. You come out there like that. One, two, three. You hook in there like that. You come out like that. Of course, we're going to need our town to support our farming community. Mm. I've got an idea of where we want things. So I think you are going to be commercial. This is going to be our residential area. Like that. So Yeah, going to be like that and put some policies in. Power, water, smoke, 
protector recycling anything else we can put in here city planning I put have high-tech housing for the shake of it heavy traffic ban old town and oh yes for the fun of it guys there's some electric cars as well let's start going totally green and it's going to need education oh, great. That's... oh well i think we can live with that let's get that in get our gv school can go there um, we get proper public library in as well. These are partly just to spread the power. Um, that can come in there like that. Now the question is low density, high density. I think this is a farming community, so let's just go low density. Yeah, you know, just to reflect the environment. We can drive the population from another point of view. I mean, it doesn't have to be super high density I mean I want to get a high population but that's not the kind of beginning and end of the whole you know situation and of course we're going to need to use the, put the fire station there if I put the police station on the side like that you should bridge over and what we should be able to do is put these reds across like that. And what we'll do is wedge in power there. There's the current power there. Okay. We need to get you to bridge over here. I think what we can do is be a little bit cheeky here. Farming. Oh, I can put that there. I don't really want that there. Okay, maybe that's not. Actually, what we can do is. Ah, what a little annoying. Right, what we can do is put that there. And I think we can put a basketball court there. A little bit of entertainment there. That's can do is a big demand for industry so we do something like that and be a bit cheeky down here as well like that and of course oh yeah one thing I can do something from a previous part put that in the center area got a nice link through no no power stations actually yeah let me just check the mast coverage over here i think i didn't put in last time was it ah, we could have some fun and put a mast right next to the runway ah, even though i'm not that crazy and we can maybe just put in a bit of emergency cover there and we could just put that on this corner that one and of course what we can do is uh, an earthquake detector in. These detectors are very easy to put in. You just drop them like that. They don't have to be on roads or anything like that. When I mean, we could put and the mass is too big. What we can do is put the earthquake detector in the center like that. So that's looking good. I think what we can do is just push this road out to about there. Actually, wrong way around again. Took that through there. And that's about as far out as I want to bring this road. So what we we'll do is build round this now. Um, we can come out like that. We can come out like that. And. Things have got a little bit out of sync, but it's not important. Not important at all. We've got education here. We've got a little bit of commercial building, but we've got no one here at the moment who wants to work in this stuff. So we can 
think I will put a little bit of high density in here. And I think we can about like that. And come across like that. And like that. And of course we need a, a connection. Metro, metro. Oh, that's very fortuitous. And what we can do is put a road up through here like that. Okay. I think we can hook this up like that. And if we put a metro station there, we can put a metro station there. The pause, and we'll just take that out there, that there, 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 and that can come like that. Ah, oh, come on! That probably needs a straight connection. It's decided that it can't. And then we're going to just let it unpause. And what I should be able to do is encourage this to connect up to there like that. Normally once you drag one, they cancel. And we'll just drop another one in here. Oops. Cancel. In a bit of, bit of the shakes here. We've now got that. Actually, I'm tempted to put another one in about here, actually. Actually, put one about there. Sorry about this, guys. So we'll pause the game. It's going to upset the... Let's get some really good communications in here. doesn't want to play at the moment yep. that will really drive things forward of course we've got a problem here but I think we can fix that with uh, another row of offices because nobody wants to we can put offices all the way through here like that to speed the game back up again and I do here. Well, we got that there, so if there's power out from here, uh, basketball courts. If, uh, yeah, I think we'll just drive the property price up here. That now give a nice solid connection to there. I mean, it's not exactly a tourist resort, but it's going to work. There's a lot more traffic coming through here than. I thought so where's all this lot coming from I don't know maybe it's just my imagination okay where are you coming from wow yeah let's just do a quick check let these trucks get out onto the road big part of them and then we're just going to pause and okay so we got quite a lot of trucks exporting there some of them not much actually going in so and so we may have a problem here let's have a quick look exporting agricultural products so the game is showing a preference for this here Okay, we're going to have to do a little bit of remedial work here. And we may have to upgrade this to a highway. We're just definitely going to have to keep an eye on this. Who are you? Yep. So this is actually taking over as the primary export for the forestry goods. In some ways, that's not a big an issue as long as this doesn't start to get overloaded. So we will definitely have to keep an eye on that.
Meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm uh, thank you. warning for the coming days. Citizens thank you, game. I always wanted a thunderstorm. Oh. Okay. Right, we're going to have to be a bit creative here. And then again, I, I don't really need multiple junctions there anyway, so. Still got demand for res. So we can just keep. We can just keep filling this in for the moment because we're not going to change this I don't like that so I'm just going to take you off that junction there that's filling in quite nicely I think we can put some more offices along the front here like that but not actually on the sorry about that guys <laughs> and I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but bring you in like that. That's Daisy. That's a road to nowhere. Thank you, game. Thank you very much. A thunderstorm is battering the city. Stay indoors until the storm has passed. Just pop a little bit of high density in there. Right. Thunderstorms are some of the most annoying elements of the game and they really need to be managed. Just a quick check here. Looks like we need some more fields or something so I'm just going to put some more fields down here while the thunderstorm rages. I don't know if I want that. I mean I could put... Uh, Construction estimated production 288. That's no good. Well, we're going to need to. I want to keep this area for once their farms start to level up. So, I think you can come up this way. I'm not sure I need to go any further with that. So, some more like that in just there like that right but my it seems to be out here so it doesn't seem to be affecting the city got a bit of a fire going in the since cities here of course we got this oops last year claimed thank you we still got this area here which is farmland as well. But I think beyond that is everything is okay. Just gonna keep that running. I'm not getting any power problems. That's good. Really surprised how quickly this station has picked up. It's in some ways it's really good. I like the idea of that. And what we'll probably do is leave this area open. Should it get too busy. I mean this could be Quite a major import area or this in fact we could build this town up because we've got the resources here is it all the resources we've got some ore here so just mark that up as well and let's just mark this up as a an industry area here i'm not going to do anything about it just yet because we will need to build this town up so it's big enough so that people can come over here and do it also got an oil industry here maybe we can develop this to develop this oil industry here as well I mean what we could do is create a production oil area here and then have another area over here where it's none of it's particularly that flat where we could do or what we could do is just make a combined or processing oil production there we could put the factories here and have the production over here and then let it all feed back into here uh, i'm getting way ahead of myself now what i really need to oops one thing we haven't put in is a crematorium i'm gonna have to double down now the crematoriums and let's just put a that's big. Actually, we've got a big space here. 
a nice big hospital in as well. Actually, let's just have a quick look at the unique buildings. Got a friendly neighborhood park. Okay. That could fit in. Um, let's check the noise limit. Yeah, I think that will be a bit of a boost to the area as well. I don't need a mole or anything like that. This here, Grand Central Terminal. Hypermarket Cinema. I mean, the trouble is some of these buildings are going to look very much out of place here. Chipex launch site. Okay. Uh, Panda Sanctuary. I mean, that's going to look a bit out of place as well, isn't it? And again, it doesn't really fit, does it? Um, and then again, we've got tourists coming in here. So we could give them something to come and visit, couldn't we? Yeah, why not? Let's just go with that. So we've got the metro station there. And I... And we're going to put the farming industry out here and I don't want to put too much traffic on this road now beyond that especially if we are going to be building oil and all right here yeah I think that will work actually is there anything else temple complex traffic park boat museum oh we'll certainly be looking into that bird and bee haven well, let's keep the theme going. I know it shouldn't be right next to. Actually, that will work. But actually, if I put it there next to the. Actually, there's is there a zoo. There used to be a zoo. I don't know if there's still a zoo in here. I might not be unlocked yet. Lungs of the city. And it doesn't look like I've actually unlocked the zoo yet unless it's no longer available. We've got to make a decision on this. I don't want Central Park. Plaza of the Dead. Lungs of the City. Temple Complex. Traffic Park. I think I'm just going to look at that off camera, guys, and see what I can fit into this area here. And make it a kind of a bit of a tourist attraction area. I mean, it's a little bit peaky there, but this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. Until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.